Okay, uh, along the same lines as warp drive, I stumbled across something else called photon drive. Uh, the name of the article is a workable photon drive, so if you put that in your internet search engine, it should bring it right up. Uh, let, me, let me read a little bit of it here. It says, a device called a, photo, a photonic laser thruster is making news since a December demonstration of the technology by its inventor, Yung Bei, and the founder of the Bay Institute in Tustin, California, Bay has pursued antimatter and fusion research for 20 years at places like SRI International and Brookhaven National Laboratory. His current work on photon thrust is raising some eyebrows, as noted in this news release from the Institute, which quotes the Air Force Research Laboratory's Franklin Meade. I attended Dr. Bay's presentation about his PLT demonstration and measurement of photon thrust here at AFRL. It was pretty incredible stuff, and to my knowledge, I don't think anyone has done this before. It has generated a lot of interest around here. Uh, Smokey, no, you cannot get there right now. Say hello, Smokey. There's Smokey. Look at the look at the camera. Look at the camera. You're not going to leave. You're not looking at the camera. No, no I get out. Oh, you little varmint. All right. Um, okay, it goes on to say, in one form or another, something called a photon drive has been in the back of inventors' minds since the days of the German researcher Eugen, Eugen Sanger, who published a design he called a photon rocket. Okay, essentially what we've got here is a method of, of travel that is somewhat better than rocketry. Uh, of course, it, it won't compare to warp drive, obviously, but it's, it's pretty doggone fast. Um, basically, the reason it struck my attention is because when I heard the word photon, the first thing that came to my mind was a photon torpedo. And then when it goes on and talks about the photon rocket, which is which is what he, which is what the original uh, uh, person uh, Eugen Sanger called it, it starts to click in my mind. You know, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, photon torpedo. Uh, basically, you have a, a torpedo that runs off of this photon drive. You have a conventional warhead in the nose, and inside the nose you have a little cylind metal cylinder, and suspended in, inside that little cylinder is about a gram of antimatter energy. When the photon torpedo hits its target, the conventional explosives go off, this breaks the cylinder inside the nose of the photon torpedo, exposing the antimatter energy, and whatever it hits goes boom. And I mean a big boom, because just a gram of antimatter energy, or, or any antimatter, I should say, not antimatter energy, antimatter, uh, just a small gram of it can destroy a very large city like L.A., New York. So you can imagine the, the potential something like this would have. And it, and it just struck me as odd, because... You know, I, I'm looking for this stuff about Star Trek now, and, and, and this really uh, caught my eye. And I'm thinking, photon torpedoes, man, yeah. Okay, so now we've got our warp drive. Now we've got a means to defend ourselves. So now uh, maybe I'll just keep on going. If you all like this, I'll just keep on going with it and see what else. I, I'll get into teleportation, uh, food replicators, and all that jazz. And we'll just go right on, boom, 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 right down the line. Now, this, now listen. This is not, we're not at the speculation, okay? This has already been tested and proven, okay? It's already been tested in the lab and proven. Um, you know, this has been uh, seen and done. It's raising eyebrows, and there is a news release, for those of you that are curious. Uh, so, you know, it, it, when you call it up, just put it in your Internet search engine, just put in a workable photon drive, P-H-O-T-O-N photon drive and uh, that should bring it right up so there you go photon torpedoes now now uh, I guess next uh, what I'll probably do is probably work on teleportation that's probably still in the experimental stages but uh, I may go off I'll go no I'll do the food replicators next because that is something that I know we either already have or we're very very close to having all right that'll do it see ya